is Saturday morning. We are off to Target. I got some things I need to return to good old Target. I purchased a Cremo, 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 Cremo fragrance called Palo Santo. My girl here, Joss, put me on. Oh, Lord, come on. Get, why? Why, Jesus? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to put the garage door down. My girl, Joss, turned me on to, put me on to. I always say turned me on to. Oh, my God, I got lint. Y'all, hot, hot mess status. She turned, ooh! Hello, son. Wait a minute. Let me get my life together here. She put me onto, but I always say turned onto, which is not the correct expression. It is put me onto Palo Santo from Cremo, which I ordered from Target and ordered some Fren Frenchy, Frencha, Fren Frencha, Frenchy stuff. <laughs> that I've heard a few people talk about. I ordered a body spray and I ordered a body wash. The body wash came messed up. It was leaking. And the Cremo spray smells amazing. All right, son, the sun is sunning. <laughs> As we're obsessed with saying these days, the sun is sunning. <sighs> the Cremo spray came used it was i didn't order a tester i don't mind the tester i don't have a problem with a used fragrance but i need to know if i'm purchasing a used fragrance hold on let me clean this lens here is that better so it the box was opened and it didn't have a top on it and i'm like are you kidding me like the cellophane was literally ripped off it's like the person the sales associate that put the box together was like let me see what this smells like ripped the box open smelled it and forgot to put the cap back on and threw the thing in the box come on target you can do you can do better you can do better so i'm off to do that i want to get a little rug for our like mudroom area i have a little wimpy i have a part of my language i have a bitchy little rug <laughs> in, that, in that section i need a chunkier wool rug or, or faux wool, something that's gonna like grab dirt off of shoes coming in. Are you like, do you wear shoes in your house? I do. We generally don't wear shoes upstairs, not for any other reason than I have everybody kind of trained, if you will, not like they're dogs or anything, but you know, trained to take their shoes off in the mudroom and stick them into the, we have like a cubby system. <laughs> We have a cubby system where people stick their little shoes in. Now they have shoes in their closet. Like I have, you know, 400 and gazillion, billion, trillion, fulfilling shoes in my closet. But the ones that I wear every day, which are what? My little Keens, y'all, me and those Keens, we have been all around creation together and some flip flops. And what else? And my sneakers, like my training sneakers, tra cross, cross training sneakers. I think a bird just pooped on my car. So now we got to go to the car wash because ain't nobody got time for bird poop on their windshield. <laughs> so nasty. Ow! <sighs> so I'm off to Target to return that stuff. I'm going to get a rug. And you know how it is when you get into Target. There's like 10,000 other things you didn't even know you needed in your life that all of a sudden end up in your cart. So I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, why don't we look at some sheets? I want some flannel sheets. I have flannel sheets on the bed now. They're older. We've used them for years and years. Gosh, they're so cozy. They are a little bit pilly, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, it's not like, you know, I'm not that person that like once something gets a little older, I feel like it's not worth having anymore. That's, that's not me. For me, the question is, do I still enjoy this? Is it functional still? Um, and do I have anything in my house that sort of does better than this? Because if the answer to that last question is yes, then the thing is in danger of going out of the door. Uh, but for these flannel sheets I have, they're fine. I just, I can feel the pilliness. <laughs> Talk about spoiled girl attitude, right? I feel the pilliness when I lay down on those sheets and I'm like, well, maybe I need some new softer, flatter, non pilly ish sheets. Let's see if we can find some newer flannel sheets that are fall or winter inspired. It's a beautiful day. The sun, it, I mean, how do y'all deal with that? Yes, I can put the visor down. In fact, I have sunglasses. I'm such a dodo bird. Hang on. All right, that is better. Oof. Oof -da. 
It's a beautiful day. The leaves are changing colors. It's cool this morning. It's about 50 something degrees. I have definitely had a lovely cup of coffee fluffy and my corner rocker in my bedroom i've got my workout clothing on i really started this gym membership for a few reasons i like to work out at home i've shared this before that is my preferred mood of working out i feel more comfortable at home i have a treadmill i have weights i have a thousand and one dvds that i really like and then of course nowadays there's youtube videos for workouts so there's really no excuse except my own lack of discipline and laziness for not really working out several times a week but anyway the gym membership I got for a couple of reasons for one my husband got a membership and then our oldest son got a membership as well when he finished college and then my youngest son wanted to get a little buff too he just got to high school He's feeling himself, you know, wants to grow some muscles. He's noticing the ladies and that kind of a thing. He's in that home mode and it's super duper cute to watch him want to bulk up a bit. So he's been asking and asking and asking, can I go to the gym? Can I go to the gym? Can I go to the gym? So I'm happy, 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 happy to take him to the gym. However, <laughs> a membership is involved. So yet we have another membership that I started so that I can go and take him like after he gets off of school and, and that kind of a thing. So we've been going. Um, he's moving into that period where the initial excitement, you know how that is, the initial excitement of that gym membership has waned and the comfort of his bed is calling. So like it's Saturday morning and I was like, listen, bud, if you want to go to the gym, we got to get up early and go because I have a lot of stuff to do. Like I'm, my weekends, all of my days, but my weekends especially are go, go, go. Like I've got errands to run I have videos to film I have meals to cook my husband and I have kind of gotten into this rhythm where and he's an excellent excellent chef and we like cooking together but our schedule is kind of pulling us in into a different pattern so he has volunteered to do most of the cooking during the week if I would do most of the cooking on the weekends and that works for me because I need time i don't like feeling rushed during the week to whip up meals during the week i'm like throw something on the grill throw a protein on the grill and get a vegetable in the oven and we're done like that's it we're not doing any other sides just a protein and a vegetable and let's go let's do this <laughs> and then on the weekends you can do something a little bit more elaborate that requires some actual chopping of food and preparation and spices so today i'm gonna make Listen to how random I'm getting. Today I'm going to make a crock pot tortilla soup and there's chips involved, tortilla chips that go with that. That crock pot soup recipe is a vegetarian recipe. You know I want more protein. So we're gonna put some of the rotisserie chicken. You know how that is. You buy that rotisserie chicken, my God, it smells so good. And you end up eating like two pieces of it and then the rest of it kind of just rots away in the fridge. You promise yourself you'll pick at it all week, but you really don't. So we're gonna put that sucker in the crock pot along with everything else or at least pick the meat off of it and do that and so then it'll be a chicken tortilla soup so that's today tomorrow i'm making a cocovan did i say that correctly cocovan 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 french dish and sweet potatoes with shallots on top i'm so looking forward to that recipe you all you don't even know you don't even know last night friday night you know, it's the end of the week. The last thing you want to do on a Friday night is spend hours and hours cooking in the kitchen. Although you want to eat well on a Friday night. So we put a chicken pot pie in the oven from Costco. It was pre-made. They're a bit expensive, but it's enormous. This thing feeds an army. And we have five people eating and we only used half of it. So imagine that we still have enough for today for lunch if people want a snack on it. So we did that and a big Caesar salad for dinner last night. So tortilla soup today, cocovan, and sweet potatoes tomorrow. And I'll be the chef for the weekend. But what I'm getting at is my weekend is packed and I've got like thing after thing after thing that I want to do. I've got laundry to fold. I've got, oh, do you want to help me clean out my closet? Let me tell you what's going on with that. Your girl Veronica, Veronica, <laughs> Veronica. Elvis Costello song. Random AF. So I have a lot of work clothing in my closet from a time in my life when I worked in a full on office and I had a position that I wanted to be professional for. <laughs> 
people are so weird in parking lots like the whole dance that we do around parking spots is really aggravating to me I'm like choose a spot and just go in people are almost like too nice about the parking. I'm very polite by the way like if somebody's waiting for a parking spot I don't grab it I would, I would never do that and I always out of politeness yield a parking spot to someone else unless I'm in a huge rush if I'm the one in the queue I take that parking spot but if I see there's that slight moment of confusion you know what I'm saying where people are like oh is it your spot or is it mine I just yield it to them you know it's just a parking spot and there's more you know so I'm fine to just drive around it's not a big deal Anyway, but when people are like indecisive about getting into their parking spot, I'm like, folks, let's get this show on the road. The New Yorker in me comes out. But the closet, the closet, the closet, the closet. I have a lot of professional gear. So my ladies that shop at like Talbot's and Taylor, that whole universe of outfits. I have so many blazers, <laughs> wool blazers, polyester blazers, cotton blend blazers, linen blazers all sorts of blazers that i wore and i also have a lot of wool pants or linen pants or polyester blends or whatever that have linings you know what i'm talking about the pants with the linings and most of my work pants are long g -g 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 -g. like they have that extra few inches on the bottom because i used to wear stilettos to work not stilettos like the teeny tiny heels but just like really tall shoes with big heels on them be they boots be they shoes or whatever so I was always four or five inches elevated I'm five three I need a little height my friends so I would get to like five seven or five eight and then I would need those pants to kind of match that so where I'm going is that a lot of the pants that I have in my closet now are inappropriate for work they're too dressy for work like things have changed it's 2022 people aren't really wearing that stuff to work anymore like they're not wearing the the wool blends and whatever to work they are wearing pants like ponte knits ponta ponte 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 knits <laughs> it can't take me anywhere ponte knits that taper onto the ankle and that's probably more flattering for my body shape anyway like i'm shorter and my legs are pretty thick so why am I trying to wear these really bulky pants that have like the boot cut at the bottom? I thought that that made me look elongated, you know, 10, 15 years ago, but I'm not just not sure that's the case. So anyway, now I have in my closet, I still have all those stilettos because I love them and I can't let go. I cannot let go. I cannot let go. But I also have like a, a an army of booties, like little mini boots with the stacked heels on them that I really love. I love those. Those are more my style today in terms of going to work. So I work in a place that's probably even more professional than the one that I'm talking about. I work from home mostly, but what I'm saying is when I go into meetings in the office, like this work is people, even like our very, very senior, senior leaders in the organization, they come a lot more casual than one would have expected, like in the late 80s and the 90s, even the early 2000s. Now it's different. Now people are wearing a lot more casual, like work casual kind of a clothing into the office environment and not feeling the pressure to like wear suits and stuff, you know? So all that to say, it's time for me to let go of things in my closet. I have rows of pants and blazers and pieces that are just too formal too structured for the work environment that I'm a part of right now so it's time to pair that back and like get into modern times Veronica get the little cute sweaters and the nice appropriate casual work pants going on and just be more comfortable I don't need to get in there and look as crazy as I looked before all made up head to toe tailored tailored yeah that ain't that ain't the thing no more so but the part that I'm gonna have a hard time really letting go of because I think I can pair back my blazers, for example, to like my five essential blazers and my pants too. Like no more than 10 pairs of pants. I don't need 40 pairs of pants in the closet. That's just stupid. What am I doing? When am I ever going to wear those? If I have lived in this house now for about three years. Have I ever reached for any of those? Maybe once, maybe twice, maybe twice, maybe twice when I went in the office. But even then I felt like they were overdressed. What I'm going to have a really hard time with is pairing back my shoe collection. And I'm not ready. So therefore, I'm not going to. But there may be a few pairs that I let go of. But would you like to do that with me? All of that came from me saying that I have a very lot to accomplish on Saturdays and Sundays. And with the gym thing, like if you're not up and 
ready to go early in the morning. And by early, I mean eight-ish. Can we go at eight? We don't have to go at 5 a.m., but can we go at eight? Can you be ready then? And if you're not ready at eight, then that kind of throws the entire sequence of the day off. So I went into my son's bedroom and said, hey, you know, are you ready to get up? And he was really exhausted. So I was like, you know, just sleep. I got other things to do. I can go to Target and get all that stuff done. And then he and I can work out at home later instead of having to do a whole nother run out to the gym. Many, many minutes later into this video and I'm about to walk into Target. Bye y'all. <laughs> so there was some weird power outage at Target and look what's happening with the lights. It's like a game of Tetris on the ceiling. So at this moment, all of the lighting came back on and everyone was thrilled. Gonna go check out some pieces. I'm looking specifically for this one fuzzy jacket. I've had this obsession with casual like athleisure wear and every time I go into a space like this I have to check out all of the leggings and everything. Oh my god would I ever actually use this? I don't need another bag but that is super cute. Oh my goodness how cute is this? That's adorable. It'll probably get dirty though. <laughs> I'm looking for a little jacket that I saw on one vlog that I thought was really cute. I hate it when stuff isn't on the hangers properly. This is cute. I would totally, totally wear that. Let me see. How much are you? 45? That's not awful. That's not awful. And that is a cute like bone color, creamy bone color. That's really friggin' cute. That might be coming home. Do I need another coat or jacket? Nah. But you know, YOLO. Oh, this was the jacket. Is this it? And of course, they only have a medium. Yeah, that's it. Let me try on this medium and see. Well, no, I can already tell it's not gonna be. Let me see. So this is the medium. I think I, I, think I like it. I think it can work. I've got, you know, room. I've got room. If I want to wear something a little bit bulkier, that could work. It comes to like right about boop on the booty line. Yeah, maybe we'll go with this. This is fun to just throw on when you're doing exactly what I'm doing today, errands, and it has a full zipper. So I think this is a winner. I always love these like fuzzy slippers. The problem is they're kind of flimsy and once the fuzzy part in here starts to flatten out they get less fun so i think i'm gonna pass on these i could do like these jersey sheets too no i can't they're kind of scratchy never mind <laughs> i abandoned that thought i'm not seeing the sheets i want do you guys use silk sheets i've never done that i don't think i want to but then i don't know why i don't know what my bias is against silk sheets I'm not seeing flannel, flannel options. Ooh, these look flannelly. Here's some flannel sheets. That's a fuddy-duddy color though. This gray might work, but what size are you? Queen, aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And you cost, no, that can't be the, that can't be the price. Where's the real price? Let's go look. What do y'all think about those huge cable knitted, hand knit, they call them a hand knit bed, bed throw. I guess you can throw them anywhere. Those big cable knits. I feel like they look really pretty in the packaging and then you put them out on your furniture and they get fuzzy and weird and then I get mad. So that's gonna be a no. I could do some sateen sheets, maybe not. Temperature balancing. Way to sell a dream, way to sell a dream. These are Jersey too. I think it's a fail on the flannel sheet expedition because these are sitting up here but I know that's not the price and that's talking about a coverlet so these are misplaced oh are there sheets here or any of you flannel these are duvet covers yeah I'm just gonna call it a bust I don't feel like searching for them but you're a flannel sheet set but see that's still talking about a duvet cover where are those where in the store are you Oh, voila. Okay, $30 a pair, 35. 
for the queen set. That's not awful. That is not awful. And then I get even pickier and wish they had like a cream set. I don't mind that. It's a little on the fuddy duddy side. Let's touch it. Oh, that's the cover. Um, they're okay. They're okay. Yeah, I kind of want some cream sheets or something. I'm going to pass. Let's keep going. This could work for that mudroom area. What else is here? I don't really like any of these. I like that, but I, I like the pattern. I think it's just, it's too big. Well, it wouldn't be too big if I put it so that the door is there instead of there. That could work. And I think that's $12.99. Definitely like the colors there, maybe more than that one. And for $13, is it $13 or is it $25? I'll have to go to the little thing and check out the price, the little price checker thing I'm about. Probably should have gotten like a rolly cart instead. I got I got the little basket and um, I need more space. I heard about these native soaps from a lot of videos. So let's try out cucumber mint. Oh Lord, it definitely smells like <laughs> cucumber mint. Maybe, ooh, sticky, nasty. Let's try this one. That's sticky too. Why are they all sticky? Ooh, that does smell wonderful. Okay, so 18 ounces, 36. Why are they all open? Because stupid people like me come sniff them. That's why, Veronica. Okay, you're coming home. Let's go. In the basket you go. Look at this. Nasty. Just nasty. I'm looking for the cremo stuff, and it'll probably be in the men's section. Oh my gosh, look at all these Olay options. Ooh, I'll have to come explore those another time. I gotta get home and I gotta make blueberry pancakes with protein powder and like it's a mix of the protein powder and the regular pancake mix. Nope, we don't need no toothpaste. We're good on that. And we don't need this. I'm going down all the wrong aisles. Let's go find the right aisle. I would think it would be in here in the men's like shave aisle and stuff. I might have to go back online and grab it. Uh-huh, they have body washes, because this is a body wash aisle. Distillers blend, I like, ooh, there's the Palo Santo body wash. I thought I ordered that, and it did not come from Terje. Maybe it's, I know I ordered it. It's coming separately, probably. I'm going to be patient. Their orders are so delayed. They sent it out in three packages, even though it was one order, you know, because they have to pull it from different stores and whatever. Let me look in the fragrance section and see if it's over there. I didn't find anything I was looking for, but I did want to show you all this cute crossbody bag from Etsy. I'll link it below and I love it. So I didn't film the actual preparation, but here's the tortilla soup, all ready to have the lid put on and cook for the day. So we used the leftover like rotisserie chicken from before and we have all of the vegetables there's an onion there's a bell pepper there's squash there's zucchini there's corn there's garlic what else is in here some spices chicken um diced tomatoes chicken stock a can of tomato sauce so we're gonna let this simmer on low or rather cook at a low temperature for six hours in a crock pot and then you put some cilantro on it and some chips and it's ready to go. I think my my ta table chairs are here in that package but I wanted to we replaced the front mat with this and let me close the door. We ended up getting it's a little hokey, but we ended up, like when you look at it up close, the sunflowers are like, bam, in your face. But from the road, it looks nice. I replaced the front door wreath with this one that we got from Costco. But let's take a look at our chairs. I meant the table legs, not the chair. <laughs> Do you all remember in a previous video me saying I lost my little pumpkins and little decorations? Here are just a few. Are they cute or what? So here's what the legs look like. They are cast aluminum. And they have a little bit of a relief here, Ken Craft Casting Company. Uh, we thought about going with cast iron, but cast iron is so heavy. These are heavy enough. They're 26 inches high, 
and then the table will sit on top of that and I think that's good enough for height for me. So my husband needs to um, bolt these down to the, the wood slab that he has been finishing up for me. And then in here in the usual office space, <laughs> We did find two chairs. I was looking for, forgive the mess over there, that's my little coffee station that needs to be tidied up. And then a fragrance that I need to put away. But hold on, let me turn the light on in here. Let me at least get this light on. So I was looking for a club, in case you're wondering what that is, it's a long story, but it's something from my grandmother. It's the one thing I kept from my deceased grandmother that brings me joy. So it like watches over me, I believe or I want to believe or something like that. But anyway, a, I wanted a club chair, like a leather club chair to sit there with an ottoman that will come out to about here. But we went to the house of a neighbor that had sold their house and they were trying to push furniture out. They were selling some furniture pieces and get rid of them. And we found not one, but those club chairs. <laughs> Not exactly in the style that I want. I'll insert a photo here, but we're going to go pick them up either tonight or tomorrow. And I'm going to move that table out and put something a little bit more flush to the wall there and put one of the club chairs here and the other club chair there, which I think, I think will look nice. So I'll show you that when that's done. So I ended up taking that floral rug back because it looked just not right in this space and went with the original choice. So here it is and you see the little cubby system on the right hand side where everybody sticks their shoes. Anyhow, thanks so much for hanging out with me during this most random of vlogs. I enjoy vlogs like this. I'm nosy and I love to see how people live their lives. I like to look around their houses, see what their hobbies are, how they plan their day. So I hope that you enjoy that too. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, my friends.